Hey everyone, G loves trains here. Now today I'm off to another completely random UK railway station. So I went on yet again to an online word generator and I typed in all the letters of the alphabet. I did actually forget to mention last time, apart from X and Z, because there are no UK railway stations beginning with those two letters. J. I then typed in all the UK railway stations beginning with the letter J. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's six stations beginning with J. Which one am I gonna end up going to? Yeah, Jerry Quarter! All I can say is thank frick it didn't come up with Jordan's Town. But the great news is I haven't been to Jewelry Quarter before, but I have heard of it. So it is south of where I'm starting from today, but it's not exactly down south. Uh, so that makes a change as well. It is, however, near Skirmingham. Ah! Uh, but anyways, I am going to head into Macclesfield Station now and wait for my first train. All right, I am down on platform two. Four hours CCTV recording is in operation at this station. I have got about 15 minutes to wait until my cross country service comes into the station. I didn't have to uh, print off a ticket either because I've got mobile tickets today. And uh, as you can tell, it is a rainy day today, so I am going to be proper like protecting my camera because when the rain goes into my camera holes, it proper distorts the sound. So, yeah, we shouldn't have any problems with that. I've been at Wolverhampton in the past I have always crossed over to platform one to catch a TFW service so um, this really does make a change not having to go over there and actually catching something different Welcome aboard this West Midlands railway service to Birmingham New Street we will be calling at Smethwick Bolton Bridge Birmingham New Street. I am thrilled to be riding on a West Midlands Railway 196 again. It is 196103. Now unfortunately I haven't got the longest ride ever on here. It is just 10 minutes to the first stop where I am getting off. Uh, I do still want to have a longer ride on board one of these trains though and uh, this service is a lot quieter than the last one. So despite being on here for a short amount of time I am just gonna relax as much as possible uh, in my window seat. Well this is certainly my first time at Smethwick Galton Bridge. I've actually got less than 10 minutes here. I've just crossed uh, down from platform four, I think it was, up to platform two. Ooh, there's some flowing water down there. Not a clue what that is. I might check very, very quickly before the next train. And it's not even showing up on maps what it is, but yeah, maybe I'll discover that another time. Um, so yeah, I'm just waiting for my last train now. Quite a while since I've ridden on a class 172, but I am on 172 340. Now, a couple of years ago when I rode these, I wasn't very taken by them. Um, I still am to be honest, this one's a little bit busier than the ones I rode a few years ago. But again, I've got a very short ride on here. I'm only on here for seven minutes, as in two stops time, I will be at Jury Quarter. made it to my final station of jewelry quarter the station that the random station generator has brought me to today it really didn't take very long to get here it took about one and a half hours and it was just three train rides uh, now the rain had stopped but it has started again since i've just stepped off the train which is great so again i'm going to watch out for the camera but yeah let's uh, let's have a look around the station so jewelry quarter is a railway station and it's also a tram stop so this bit here is where the trains are 
and then just literally through there you can walk straight through is the West Midlands Metro tram stop. Now focusing on the railway station itself, it is run by West Midlands trains and it's got two platforms. It also sees um, one Chiltern Railways train service per day but it's very late on at night so it runs from London Merrily Bone to um, Stourbridge Junction and it calls here at 23 hours 17 so yeah very late service but as for the West Midlands Railway services there are four trains per hour eastbound to Birmingham and four trains per hour westbound to Kidderminster. Oh, I'm really trying to watch my camera holes at the moment but in Jury Quarter Station we have got some plants along the platforms which is lovely um, there is an undercover waiting area down there with some seats in it the electronic information displays at the moment aren't working but there are those and there are help points and when you're at Jury Quarter you put your knickers on your edge, you put your knickers on your edge, you put your knickers on your edge. When you're at your quarter, you put your knickers on your edge and you shout, Squishy Babies! Oh, also, when the announcements start going off, like, you cannot vlog at all, they go on for a long time. <laughs> right, I'm going to uh, make my way outside the station, maybe get my umbrella back out as well. Just as I'm making my way to the exit now, um, there are up on these windows some posters about the history of Jurek Water. And there's actually a ticket office here, however, it is closed. There is um, a ticket machine there as well. It does say on this poster outside of the station that um, Monday to Thursday the ticket office is closed. But also immediately outside of the exit of the station, um, there are some interesting things to look at. For instance, this here, this is a cast iron public urinal. Obviously it's no longer in use, but it is grade two listed. Now Jewelry Quarter Station is situated in the Jewelry Quarter of Birmingham and the name for this place is very apt because there are hundreds of jewellers and retailers and 40% of all jewellery made in the UK is actually manufactured here. Now this clock tower here that I'm just walking past is called the Chamberlain Clock um, and it's actually been put there to honour Joseph Chamberlain's tour of South Africa. You know me, I love me flowing water. Now you might think that I've seen enough of it today with the rain but uh, no, I'm off to the Birmingham and Faisley Canal because I don't particularly need to buy any jewellery myself at the moment so uh, yeah I thought I'll go and spend some time on the canal instead I've made it down onto the canal towpath like I said I'm going to just have a little walk along it because there's only actually so long I can walk along it with staying within jewellery quarter if I walk too far I'll end up in Skirmingham and so far today I've successfully avoided that right I've just stepped off the canal I've come to have a sit down well hover down by this water feature thing here um, it is worth noting today that I was travelling on an off-peak day return which cost £29.15 now I could have got the price down a lot more off of that if I chose to purchase advanced singles but just with there being some slightly fast changeovers and with me not knowing how long I would actually be spending in jewelry quarter itself i thought it'd be best not to risk that but honestly today it's gone by in the blink of an eye like i don't know where the time's gone it really does not take that long to get from mansfield to jewelry quarter thank you very much for watching everyone bye